Hello, Gary here. Welcome back to Life in Rural Japan. Today I thought we'd have a bit more of a look at some bonsai. I found these couple of places, they're quite close to home, only about 3-4 kilometers away. Anyway, this fella here, he had a lot of pines and a lot of um, maple. Here's a maple here. So quite beautiful these were the ones. Really nice shape. He's just a private collector. Collects them and works on them himself. But he really had some amazing plants. You can see this one very gnarled the tree trunk. Really nicely shaped. So just the way they're all presented. He had quite a lot of small ones. Probably his oldest ones, he said, were a bit over a hundred years old. So not as old as other places, but some quite nice ones. Here's a little maple here. It's quite young. This one here was very interesting. It's got this growing out of the trunk of it. It's like a, I'm not sure what it was, like charcoal or, but it was quite interesting the shape and how it was done. This one here is really interesting. It's growing on a rock. So it had a rock there and the, and the actual tree is growing on the rock. Growed, it grew around the rock. It was really nice. Very interesting. This one here, it's got the big piece on the side of it. Just gives it a lot of character, I think. But it had a lot of nice pot. They're all potted nicely. Mm. Had a lot of these types of pines. But just look at the trunk and the way they're wired and everything. It's just amazing how they do them. He's just giving it a bit of a prune up, pulling a bit of dead stuff off. Yeah, look at the shape of this. Look how it goes up and down, and it's mm, amazing. That's all I can say with them. But he had a lot of small ones. A lot of pines. Just the shape of the trunks. This one here, he said, was very old. This is one of his oldest ones. But look at the size of the trunk on it. This one here is growing on a rock too. He, he seems to like to grow. He grows them on rocks a lot, this fella. He seemed to like that sort of thing. Just like a little garden. This is another maple. I like the shape of this one. This one looked really beautiful. I really like that one. This one here is incredible. He's got it like in water and it's got the rock. But the thing's surrounded in water. 
shapes. It's like a whole little garden. This one was beautiful. Look at this. Look at the shape of the trunk and how it's just. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. But just how gnarled they are. This one here's growing on a rock too. Look at the look at the the way this is all twisted around. And I like how they get the different colours. They got the white and that sort of thing. It's really amazing how they do this. This one here, the base of it was so big. It's all you can see how big the base of it is. And just a little twisted one. This is another place I found. He's got different type, different style. But this is very big, the base of it. He really uses a lot of hard wire on this on his ones. You can see there are the branches, how they're all wired up. And this one here. I like getting down low and looking up into them. It gives you a whole different perspective on them. So this one can come down. Oh, well, that was just a short look around at some different types of bonsai that different people do. So this one here, it's all got a lot of moss on the bottom of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And please like the video. It really helped me a lot. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Yeah, you can see the wire on there, how it's all wired up. And this last one over the back is really nice. We've got a little one over the back here in a second. This one here, just the shape of it, was really pretty.